I wanted, I wanted to add on to a few things that Tyler of Tekken Expresso said. So he was talking about sweeps and there are all manner of different really weird things that you can do with sweeps. One of the specific ones that I'm going to show is 3D sketching. So I guess this is tip number 11. So if we were to make just a simple track and I am going to quickly, I'm, uh, I'm actually going to close this off because I'm making a track. So then I'll do some fillets. I don't like adding in fillets at the sketch stage. But adding in fillets in the sketch stage for this is much, much easier for everyone involved. I also wanted to show a hard point transition. There we go. You know what? Let's do something weird. If we're gonna if we're gonna do this, let's let's also have something weird in it. Okay, uh, arc. And then arc. So that should recognize, yeah, it does recognize the order. Okay, great. So then another line here to there. Some constraints added, tangent, tangency. Um, yeah, um, so I'm gonna leave that like this. So this is gonna seem like weird. It's like, why is that there? Um, oh, it's gonna make it's gonna make crazy sense in a minute. So one of the things I like to do is look at sketches in 3D, and I have a good reason for that. Most of the time, it's because I'm working on like some kind of something, and I'm modifying it or changing it, and like you know I have all of this other crap to deal with. And so if I look at the sketch in 3D, then I can also see other things about the model, doing a whole lot of revolves and stuff. So with this. You know, you're just starting out. You don't really need it, um, but it can be helpful. So finish sketch. Then we're going to create a sketch on a line with his tip number 10. Uh, oh, gosh. Where is it? I'm blind. Each Whenever I have to like do like a video or something, I like lose everything and like can't remember where anything is. Um, yeah. I'll have to do a tutorial on how I have the uh, the 3D rotation a lot easier. I'm not even touching the keyboard. Uh, but okay, so we're gonna do a track. We're not just doing a, um, we're not just doing like a sweep, we're gonna do a track. So, let's see, there, right? Oh, isn't that such a pretty track? So I think I'd expect on Animaniacs. Uh, okay, uh, equal and horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all are already fine. Okay, great. Now equal. Oh, that was a mistake. Okay, equal. There are easier ways to do the whole midpoint trick, but my favorite is just to draw a line and then make that horizontal vertical. So X marks the spot. Okay, there we go. Set some distances. I want to properly, um, I would like to properly do this just to show that you can have things that are properly dimensioned for this. Let's see, 40. The other thing I do is I, I just like look and see whatever is the closest whole number, wholeish number. So 11, and what are we missing? Oh, from here. 10. Everything's properly dimensioned. Um, I will go ahead and do that. So. We're going to pretend that there's going to be some sort of grooves. This is going to break some of the constraints, but that's okay. Wait, actually. You know what? Go away. Go away. Go away. Nope, don't do that. This is a, uh, here's another tip. 
Mirror, your friend. Mirror is your friend, not Mirror, your friend. Anyway, okay, great. Uh, more dimensions. Six. Uh, well, oh, right, that's because we did needed to do that. Four. 4.5, make y'all equal. Okay, sometimes the sketchers get pissed off. Oh, that's what's, that's what's missing. Distance, 17. Okay, there we go. All right, so now we have um, this profile, which is a little bit big for this, but whatever, we're not really going by dimensions. So we're gonna select this and then Create, sweep, and path is this one. This might piss it off. No, it didn't, cool. So take a look at that. It, um, it made a, um, it made a path. And a very weird one at that, um, which if you notice it went through there, which is, you know, not, uh, not exactly what I would want, you know, because I would sort of want this to be on top of that. So over here under preferences, wait for it. I don't know why the menu takes forever to come up. Probably because I'm running this on a laptop. General API, uh, not API design. And then this one here, allow 3D sketching of lines and splines. Check that. And then what we can do now, because this whole R control line is all blue, we can move it right now. Uh, so any kind of movements that we make, it will faithfully, eventually, as it you know remembers what it's doing, we'll, we'll program it. Um, we can also move them up and down, but that's a little bit. Fusion still wants to lock it to the uh, to the to the plane, which gosh, I completely support. However, you can press the M for move is one of the few shortcuts that I do all the time, and then you can move it. Now, if you'll notice, it's moving other things along with it. Um, there are ways to get around this, which, oh, this needs a constraint, which, uh, let me see. One sec, what these, see how it's a sharp edge? Remember how I talked about sharp edges can be bad? We can do a tangency constraint between the two of those, and that is gonna fix that problem. So whenever I go to move this, it should, yeah, see how it's nice and smooth? So I'm moving that up, and click OK. Oh, so we've got pissed off. This also happens with 3D sketching, by the way. Um, sometimes the sweep it's angry. So it's trying to complete it, but at some point it messes up, which this is the problem with um, with doing that. Oh, is it at the angle? Yeah, it's at the angle. Okay, great, great, great. Okay, uh, this is wonderful actually because this uh, proves a point of mine. So over here, those two, let's make y'all, wait, no, not tangent. Uh, let's do a fillet. There we go. Finish catch. Fillet. Did I, did I not just edit that? I will cut you. Fill, oh, right, I had to press enter. Fill it, wrong fill it, wrong fill it. I don't hardly ever use these kind of fillets. Uh, that one apparently it did fine, but those two got it pissed off. Okay, now, uh, distance, everything. Wow, whatever. Oh, come on. See, this, this, oh, right, oh gosh. Path, selected, that one. There we go. So, this happens. So, pretty much what I'm, what I'm having to do is find the thing where it breaks. And somewhere along it, it breaks. 
So somewhere in here. Ah, yes. The connection. I remember fixing this somehow. Honestly, don't remember how. I did figure it out, though. Was it by adding a... Maybe it was lofting the pieces together. I don't recall. But anyway... There you go. That's uh, that's my tip. Um, there. Wait, was it was it by switching this to parallel? Nope. Okay, whatever. Click okay. But uh, anyway, yeah, there's a way to fix that, and I fixed it in the past. I don't recall right now. Um, I think it has to do with being nice with the way that you do the path, because very weird things can happen. Um, but yeah, that's uh, tip uh, number 11 in a very convoluted sort of way. Like a very broken sort of, dear God, what have I done way. Hey, look, it's getting closer. Which, this is probably a good reason not to include the tip. <laughs> So I can definitely understand why he would not, uh, why he would not want to do that. One, please work. No. Okay. 